everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Real Talking Podcast. Your hosts, Ash and JT. So you've came here for a week. We fucking spoke about it for ages last week. The fucking fights. Misfits Series X. Fucking crossover boxing. Whatever mm. fucking all the titles have got. It went on. It happened. So yeah, we'll give our fucking review on it now then. Yeah, I mean... Are we going to give our review about the whole the whole boxing event as a whole before or we were, we're going to save that to after we pick three and five? What, as, as like I just want, as an actual company, you mean? It's not? just, well, this boxing card as a whole, I'm not, it's, you know, I think we'll save it for after. Yeah, save it for after. We'll, we'll save it we'll for after. Quick fucking we'll go through, yeah. Three and we'll, we'll, uh, you know, because I can't remember who we had. To win on all the fights, but you know, I mean, we for me, the first funny fight that I came across was the Ed Matthews and Storms fight when I was watching it. Like, I missed the three fights beforehand. Well, yeah, because it was a bit confusing. Because from what I saw, it was starting at six o'clock. Yeah. Um, but as as I was like, I don't know, watching TV, doing whatever, I saw it pop up about live show five o'clock mm. um but it was like celebrity countdown or something that it said for it so i thought that was just going to be fucking just yeah, people a bit of build just up interviews yeah. whatever so essentially when i went on it was the frankie love and chase the war fight uh so missed the um two rappers and two fucking splatters fucking at first uh but i did go back and watch them was any good mate no uh, so I don't know um, Ayo Deji's rapping name uh, but yeah him and SX it was just fucking dead like literally well it got fucking called off really because SX weren't fucking throwing any punches or anything so the ref just fucking called it off so he lost oh. I mean yeah there's, apart from that there was nothing to fucking report about it yeah I feel I feel like with going forward, they can't just put your first fight live on TV. I feel like you have to have a bit about you. Yeah. I think it's come to yeah. a point where you can see the ones that have got a bit about them, or at least trying to learn them. Look at the ones that just can't do it, that turn away. Mm. And I feel that's like what that, uh, that's what SX was doing. A yeah. lot of it, oh, okay. punches, like fist throwing, he was just moving, yeah. trying to trying to dodge, but just turning away essentially. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, they they should have more experience. But again, you know these lads, they're fucking, they're earning a lot of money for it. So yeah. they're just gonna do it, and they they don't really care. They're not losing anything from it. I mean, I, we had the conversation last week, and I said to you, "Would you step in the ring?" And you was like, "Yeah." And I was like, oh, "I don't know. I can't imagine getting knocked down." But I mean, some of the things I saw, you know, I think I'd back myself now. Yeah, yeah, you know, because um, I, I reckon with some of them, well, definitely with that first one, it, it's a couple of weeks worth of training. Yeah, I think it's That's only six to eight weeks, or I know some can be. I think ten weeks. To, yeah, it just you, de- depends you, on how you are, and so yeah, you, you, you want to maximise it. You, you, for me, I'd want to get eight to ten weeks from it, just you're learning everything from there. Well, it's that, but I'd I'd want to fucking try and have like three months really. So essentially, if I'm getting called out, I know fucking like it's gonna lead to fucking getting in the ring. So you're gonna start training from that point from yeah, really, yeah. you know, um, especially with a coach because. You know, I've, I've done it when I was a kid, fucking karate, kickboxing or whatever, but, you know, you, you've got to learn the basics of the techniques, really, ain't you? So, you can't, you, your last eight, ten weeks is more of your physical training. You you want a good month or so yeah. of technique training first, don't you? So, yeah, the first fight, dead. I mean, I mean, I saw some of the highlights from uh, after the Alexa Grace and the Ash Fruit Square match. So you say highlights? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw a clip. Oh, fuck me, like, I mean, I know, I know it takes, going to have a bit about it. You're going to have a bit about it to step in the ring, but no matter what. But, you know, I, I just feel, I don't know, that it, it was shit, basically, mate. That's well, what I'm yeah. trying to say. I'm trying to, mate, it was just terrible. I mean, up until, for me, the first fight, I see him as Ed Matthews against Swarms. Now, can we talk about Swarms coming in, walking in the ring, and he does this 
it's like a bow and arrow gunshot, like he's firing an arrow. But it's not just him though, is he? No, no, no. His yeah. blows from doing it. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, yeah, <laughs> he can't be giving all these gestures like he done like the bow and arrow. I yeah. don't know if he done the cut cut throw thing and then gets sparked down in ten seconds. Yeah. And then and then has the audacity to say it's an ankle problem for he got up from the floor and walked to his corner fine it was yeah. only after it's my ankle no you got hit in the chin and dropped yeah i mean the uh this one i think that's his was his fourth fight i think third time he's been knocked out or whatever it was i mean it's just good yeah but he only won the one against ryan taylor and that was literally fucking because he hit him twice and then ryan was trying to say that like he couldn't see out his eye or whatever yeah. so yeah fucking it was just shit. Okay. It's, it always seems a bit of a farce, do you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, I just, I know we're going to talk about the card as a whole at the end as a summary of the thing, but, mm-hmm. you know, I just feel the production's really, I know it's, I know it's a, what I, well, I say, it is a big thing, it has loads of downloads, but, mm-hmm. um, just the production of the transition from fight to fight, and that they're like, they have, um, you know, the people that interview them and interview the guests that come in. I find they have good shit as well. Like, yeah. They just ask random questions. And I'm like, you know, it doesn't make sense what you're asking. Like, because, you know, that, but anyway, yeah. So that's, so Ed Matthews and Swarms. Swarms come in, giving it, doing the bow and arrow, 10 mm-hmm. seconds in, KO'd. Yeah. Fucking waved off. What was your thoughts on that one, mate? Again, it was shit. Fucking. Yeah. You know, I, I think I went with Swarms with that one just because he'd had a couple extra fights. Mm. So you expect a bit more experience and, you know, to be able to take a punch at least. But no, it was just dead, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, the, we skipped past the, the Frank Love and Chase the more. Oh, um, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't too bad of a fight. Uh, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have said Frank had won it, to be honest, just... Because it didn't look like he'd landed more punches or anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, he must have must have landed more effective punches because it was on the decision split. Uh, but, yeah, again, mm. nothing really to roll time about. But then it gets to where it... Again, not that you want to roll time about it, but just more of this fucking debacle, shenanigans, like the tag team fucking... Fault. Can I have your thoughts on this tag team concept? Now, just can I have your thoughts, please, mate? It doesn't belong in boxing. Yeah. For me, it's it's one of those things. Only because someone thinks it doesn't make it a good idea. No. <laughs> it would have been better just uh, them fighting, obviously, uh, Pinedo and uh, what was the other geezer's name? B-Day. D Day just having a separate fight against the other two fighters. Yeah. Because it was more entertaining. Uh obviously the one knocked Pinedo down and he really started off and then he, he kind of like just trailed and you know, it it was just you could see when they didn't want it too much and that's yeah. when you get on top of them. But it was it was it was just too much. Yeah. It, you know what killed me? The commentary as well saying, Oh, it's gonna be a thing, it's like in its bay before it's gonna progress like they're really, no, yeah, no. they're really fucking trying to get up its arse too much. It's, it's, what's it's next? Long, a file of four way, mate. Do you know what I mean? Because that would be a better option having four of them finish out each other. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they throw a cage match yeah, in there just, as well. A, yeah, TLC, yeah. Cage. A TLC match. Yeah, like, fucking. It, it, for me, that, that, that was evidence for me that that just, I know that I was saying this is the best one we've ever had, but just because the other one has been really shit, mate. Yeah, and to put it as a draw as well. Look, I wouldn't have been able to call a winner, to be honest, no, because it's... both sides were shit. But, yeah, you think that that means there's definitely going to be another one now, then. Yeah. And, well, I'm not going to ask you, obviously, Lloyd, because it was, it was a waste of fucking four rounds, my lord. So, you know, 15 minutes, whatever it was, I just, I, I just really didn't see the point in it. I think there's ways to improve it, but it shouldn't be improved. It should just be left at that. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's not for boxing. You know, you can sports can evolve, but that, I mean, I don't know one person who sat there and thought this is a brilliant idea. No. Because as soon as one starts feeling the pressure, just tag out. Yeah. And it took it away a little bit. 
think because it works so well in normal wrestling, you know, your WWE's yeah. your fucking, um, well, WCW and all that lot. You can't recreate that. No, it doesn't no. work the same. And the thing is, in WWE, when they're tagged, you're still allowed to go after them. Like, because yeah. there, you have to yeah. wait to do in the ring a little bit. So it takes, it takes the, um, it takes a little off there, I suppose. Yeah, I think they're going to try and adjust the rules, like what they were saying on the press conference. Um, but then, surely it'd have to be like, you can only do one tag per round, extend the length of the rounds as well. Yeah, yeah. When, there is a tag made, you know, a lot of substitution rules, extra time, an extra 30 seconds per tag, something like that, maybe. I um, just hope they don't carry on with it. They, they shouldn't do, mm-hmm. but I think that's what they'll try and aim for. Right. So, overall, we, we're in agreement that the, the tag team should just be left, yeah, left there just, now. Yeah, just scrunch it up, chuck it in the up. bin, yeah. set the bin on fire. That's it. You tried it. Away, it didn't it. work. You tried yeah. it. Well done. Well, what's our next point, mate? So the next one was my mate Nate, and so his nickname was Batista, but he doesn't go by that now. Yeah, so yeah, it's Winderson Nunez. Um, this see now for me, this look like two people that actually did fight before and have had experience and have trained well for it. Yeah, it was a big step up in quality. Yeah, especially the fight before this one actually felt like a boxing match. Yeah. Um. What was your thoughts on that one then, mate? I didn't think it was too bad, to be honest. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it almost, even though they are the same weight, it felt like there were different weight classes because... Yeah. Uh, he's short and stocky and he's, like, slim and tall. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Nunez, he was. He, he looked more like um, just a low-gravity uh, style of a boxer. Uh, but, yeah, Nate, he was definitely taller. And, to be fair, he, I think he deserved the win in the end. He's... Threw a lot more punches than that, um, connected more. Uh, I feel like it, it just needed a couple extra rounds, though. The yeah. four rounds wasn't enough yeah. because it was sort of like towards the end, it seemed like Nunez might have been able to just land a bit of a heavy punch and probably knock him down. I mean, just going off what you said, that's one of the things that this boxing card's got that most of them don't. It's got volume of fights. Mm. And that being said, it is because the fights are four rounders, three rounders, I think some of them was, and even five. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think going forward, it needs to be, you know, you know quality over quantity. Mm. Because there was a lot of fights here that could have fit that, and I would have rather watched them have a lot next round or so, because I felt like, a knockdown was coming there. Yeah, yeah. You know, more than an Alexa Grace and that fit were. Well, again, even with that one, fucking, you know, it was, there was just no conviction in the punches. Astrid was thrown a lot, but there was no power. Yeah. And that's why fucking Alexia was fucking just face planting a fist all the time, basically, and she fucking didn't go down or anything. So. And these, un- these only fans, girl, they don't need no more fucking publicity because they're just fucking you know what are you doing lads fucking you know what i mean they're, i know i know they're gonna look after themselves what i'm saying is they don't have to do a lot to get paid yeah they're you already know? earning enough they don't need the publicity from this but obviously that's it adds, it, it, yeah it obviously it adds it adds followers which is yeah. i get it but because even the whole event was uh sponsored by fansly as well yeah that's, that's another one of, yeah. only fans um which most of them do both together. Yeah, and just put the same on, things up on yeah, both. Whatever yeah, whatever videos yeah. are on your only fans are on the fans there and that. So yeah, it seems a bit strange. Mm. Um but considering it was a, a, a sort of focus to a more younger audience, for it to be, you know, it's not just put out as porn, but you know, for a porn subscription essentially as a, a main sponsor, it was a bit strange. Um, but fair enough, you know, they've obviously got paid a lot of money for it to well, put the name it. and logo up all over it, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Well, well, but yeah, yeah I, I thought it was a, a decent enough fight. Let's say, going off in the back of that tag team fight, fucking, I probably would have happily watched the Astrid Wet and Alexa, Alexa, uh, Alexia Grace fight. So yeah, it was, it was a good up to stand, and yeah, you know, I think Nate did just about. Uh, deserved a win, really. Yeah, and I mean, going from this fight to the next fight, which was Anthony Taylor first King Kenny. Oh my God! Mm. Can we just 
I mean, right there. How shit? Have you ever watched a boxing match that shit in your life? Uh, of actual, not proper professional boxers, no. I don't, this Anthony Taylor, I, I don't know what he kept doing. Like, he, he was like a bull in the china shop, really, wasn't he? He was all over the place, running straight out of the gate as well. That was mental. But was it a good game plan? Because uh, Kenny couldn't get any fucking no, no, he, boxing it, done, really, could it? I mean, I don't even know if that's if it's a game plan or what. But I mean, if you've paid for a subscription or you've made a day out to go to London to go to the boxing event and you've seen that. You'd be so fucking disappointed how you paid for that. Yeah, you definitely would be. It's so like in terms of you know, from that I mean did did I know we lost really King Kenny on the judgment, but did he really lose? Because I can't remember anything ha- I really honestly Yeah, nothing nothing it was just happened. fucking wild hands by Taylor and then a lot of hugging. There was yeah. you know, there wasn't even much going on in the grapple. There was just, you know, wrestling with each other a little bit and then separate you want to ref and then yeah back at it again because you know you can see frustration from kenny that he couldn't he couldn't get any well he couldn't throw his fists he couldn't fucking land any punches but he wasn't helping himself he just needed to fucking push him away and then start jabbing but he 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 just wouldn't throw a jab Mm. you know i could never claim to be a fucking expert on boxing i don't watch enough of it same as the ufc and all that to to give too much of a a glorified opinion but just knowing the basics yeah he could have done a bit more of the basics yeah have helped him just out. fucking as i say just make a bit of room when he had room he just fucking didn't throw a jab to start any initiate any proper boxing it was that was the most boring boxing match that i've seen up until i've seen some more fights but i'm gonna go along the way but yeah that that for me that i was watching this thinking do I commit to watching the rest of this, this this boxing card? Because for me, I was just like, I can't do that. I, I mean, I think that was a five round fight as well. I think that was the first five round fight up to that point, if I remember correctly. Well, it was five rounds, and I think it was the first five round. I think. Yeah, first yeah. five round. So yeah. it felt long, and he dragged down like fuck me. Just it did feel longer, yeah, because it, it felt was fucking so fucking shit. It was, yeah, it was just chaos, a bit of a mess. Um, but. Andy Tyler keeps getting the, the fucking the call up, doesn't he? he? You know, he, he's I've not seen a different performance from him. From I don't know how he can. He's a boxer or a fighter. I mean, it's just so it was UFC that he well uh, MMA fighting that he done before. Um, I, I I'd have to go back and watch some of his fucking old fights to see if he was any good in any of that. Uh, otherwise, he's just he's all mouth. It's it's scary fucking. How much is up his own ass? Yeah, yeah. And then speaking of up their own ass and all mouth, fucking Dean the Great, like obviously self proclaimed names. Like what the fuck? Oh, does he actually need to be given a shovel because of how many times he says dig? Like, I just yeah, don't. Like, I just don't get it. I don't, like, I don't know. Every fucking other word. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know I swear a lot, but he definitely has more digs in. <laughs> more swear words but it was like every sentence yeah you dig you dig what i'm saying you dig you dig it's like fucking hell i was expecting it to evolve into a dub trio at fucking one point Just i'm a diglet mate diglet dig diglet dig yeah. so yeah it again the fight itself it was better you know there was actually boxing happening you know it was back and forth there was a good few punches from both of them. Mm. Uh, and then obviously, yeah, fucking Wiley just couldn't keep up with it in the end, to be fair. No, I really enjoyed that fight. Um, especially because it looked like either of it. I felt if it was to go on, uh, he, Wiley probably would have won. Yeah, he, because he, he was, he he was coming on strong. Back, which yeah. At some point, he thought he's got nothing left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. You know, with two so that, or three knockdowns, he, 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 his legs were gone as well. Mm. You know, but yeah, he, he, he fucking he did well. Um, I mean, that was the first fight for me and the whole, besides Dave Matthews one, because it was just like in 10 seconds, really, that mm. I felt really like I was feeling it. Yeah. Be- just because it had a bit of energy to it. But yeah, no, they both done well, obviously. We got the win. So, yeah. 
yeah, um, I know there was talks about a trilogy and that, but there's no point in nah, there's seeing no point. him again. There's really no point. Um, it would only be while he pulls him out for the third one, purely because of all the abuse that he's been taking from him. Um, but yeah, there's, there's not much else to go on from that, really. It's just it's a, a better fight again from the Anthony Taylor than Danny one. Yeah. Um, Danny, uh, as I said, mate, that Anthony Taylor one was just, I don't know what I was watching, especially so close after the, the tag team one. You know, like, well, yeah, I, I, there was, was a fight in between, but yeah, it was, it was depression from the tag team, and then it was it optimism lived. from my mate. Now, and who, long yes. windy fucking. Yeah, and then, yeah, it was back down again. Yeah. Um, but then this was a bit, well, not a big upset, but well, I suppose it was a big upset, really, because going into this one with Slim and Salt Poppy, because they even did a poll during the uh, the live show, and it was still like 70 odd yeah, percent yeah. was in Salt Poppy's favor, and uh, it was a mad one, really, because it started off, Salt Poppy was fucking. He was edging it. He was looking the better fighter. Slim, I mean, to be fair, he's got a nose that you just want to break it. Hasn't he really? I mean, it's massive. I don't know if that nose could get bro- broken any more times, mate. Yeah. But the one thing I would say that shocked me, no one moved. When when was, when was Saw Poppy was on top of Slim and getting the punching, Slim moved the head. No. Nah. And then the voice versa. Like, he was standing there punching. I thought, just move him up. Yeah. Just move away. <laughs> yeah. They're standing in front of you. Just move. Just move. Oh, no. it, so for me, I think so Poppy's probably the most, after that, come across probably the most overrated one. Oh, but I don't know if that's... He got too cocky. Yeah. Because he was I... literally, he knew that he was winning. And then he stood there. He's like, come on then, let's go then. And then he just got hit. It shook him. And Slim took the advantage. Mm. He, he obviously done what you meant to do. You jump on those fucking on those gaps, then don't you? So, yeah, you know, you look at it in that way. Slim deserved it in the end. Um, but I mean, I think the real winner really is Salt Poppy because you look at him, he's transformation transformation mm-hmm. over the time he's been doing it. You know, he's fucking he's he's turned his life around on that sense. You know, he's weight wise and that anyway. So, mm-hmm. fair play to him on that. Um, I mean, I don't know where he can go on from, like, who can his next fight be? You know, there's there's not really many people. I don't think he called anyone out. You know, Slim tried fucking shouting everyone out. Um, I mean, I don't know who's going to want to bite him, to be fair. Mm. Uh, I can't say it'd be interesting to see who they fight next, but... No, no, um, I, I'm... I'll, I suppose I'll keep half an eye on it. Yeah. See what happens. Right, so the next fight would have been the Logan Paul Dylan Dallas. That, well, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the next fight then, yeah. Yeah. What did you think about that one? I was disappointed on this one, definitely. Just because of how much Dylan fucking hyped himself up and fucking, you know, from the press conferences, the, the fucking, the kicking off, the, the cut face with the microphone and, you know, just the way that he tried to fucking belittle Logan so much, he thought, he, he must be confident in himself that he's going to fucking do some damage then. We all knew that Logan was going to be athletic. He's had, you know, good enough boxing history. You know, he fought against fucking Mayweather. Did okay in spouts against that as well. Um, and obviously, he's WWE fucking... Yeah, he wanted it. He would have, he would have had it. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? He was up for it. He, he, it ma- how poor Dylan was... It made Logan look like a fucking a professional boxer that's been doing it for years. It was shocking, really. And I just can't, I, I still can't get over how he just thinks it was acceptable to just run, run away. Not, you know, he just, how he kept fucking showboating when he hadn't done anything, like lying on the floor on his back at yeah. one point. What was it all about? You know, and I saw him on his Twitter. He, he, Put a screenshot of that up and he was all, yeah, Logan's missus while watching the fight in the first row. So, but she wasn't there, was she? Like, she weren't, she weren't fucking wet over him anyway. It was really disappointing that it was a co-main card event. Mm-hmm. And 
who had one person that wanted it and would have. I didn't agree with Finishland from being done. That, that was tedious. I didn't agree with, you know, that Logan Paul saying I need to forgive him. To be this, like, like yeah. it, it's too, it's too American. I, I thought, well, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, with that bit, that yeah. was his WWE side coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to do it from like, the the program side. Why would you have to forgive him? Forgive him after you don't have to forgive yeah. him before you punch. Anyway, for me, this was really weird. The whole concept, and when Dylan tried to take him down earlier in the fight, you could see the screw card already coming in. Yeah, yeah. So there must have been something in place in terms of that if Dylan Dennis tries to a takedown, the security's getting involved. They, they must have agreed with that because that was too quick. As soon yeah, as he yeah. went down, there was on it. And well, I, even with the last one as well, it, you know, before the ref even fucking done anything, the big man was in the fucking ring straight away. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you see uh, the, there's a video on TikTok where it looks like uh, Jake Paul's giving one of like yeah, one of the security. Yeah. Like, but he does, and he's got something in his hand. Just in case, gets cool with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. something in his hand, which everyone's claiming that it's coke. And uh, yeah, he fucking hands it over to the security. Yeah, we know the scuffle on yeah. the second one. Yeah, and then you can see because the security guard that he uh, he was handed to, he puts his hand straight down. Now, obviously, because there's that many people in the ring, you can't see, but it looks like he's putting it in his pocket yeah, yeah. and then walking away because he did move out of that area of the crowd yeah. as well, didn't he? Um, but yeah, it was a shit show. Uh, it was an absolute shit show. I right. think if Dylan actually tried to fucking box, then he would have got knocked out yeah, because think... he didn't have the skill. He, he just tried to defend the whole time. I think he talked himself into just not getting knocked out because mm. he can't talk that much shit and then get knocked the fuck out. Like yeah. I said earlier, with them doing the bar and arrow thing, the gunshot thing, the yeah. cut throw thing, you can't do that and not back it. And obviously, no. he'd done all his talking before the fight yeah. and he just really didn't back it. And it was really underwhelming, really underwhelming. And, you know, obviously, I'll talk about it at the end, but he just, that's what I was on about the production of the whole, the whole card. It seems a bit up in the air, you know, certain people can do what they want, hence we saw Jay Paul supposedly passing the gear, mm. you know, but yeah, it was an absolute shambles, it was an absolute shit show, and there's talks about, really, should Dylan Danis one by disqualification because all his corner went into the, went into the ring first, but obviously that must have been predetermined before, yeah, there yeah, must have been some, because um, there was worried about that, you could actually have odds that Dylan Danis tried, to try, sorry, try and take him down, you could get odds on this, so obviously he said to someone, put a hundred grand on, I'm fucking going to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, absolute shit show, absolute shocking. Well, from one of the tweets that I've seen off Dylan, uh, Logan's agreed to do a UFC fight with him. So, as part of that well, agreement... Wasn't that, though, if Dylan Dennis gave his pass to Logan Paul, if he won? Yeah, so apparently Logan's agreed to it, so then Dylan is going to give his purse to Logan. Okay. That's what he said on his own personal tweets. Um, it's just that he's, he's still been giving it this week, on it? Like, yeah. I, I don't know how he comes out of it realistically thinking that he, he deserved to win that fight. Well, he put a picture on Twitter, and um, it got deleted quickly. And I was on Reddit, and I was trying to find what this picture was. Uh, I've read that it's a picture of like Logan Paul giving another gear a head or something, but you don't know if it's true because obviously got the lady. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, email and if that's that's what it was, he was on Twitter. I think it was called "You're Better Than This" or something. That's the caption of the picture or something like that. Yeah, I feel like I've heard that before. He got looked up and he got he got tight, got the lady really quick, but it yeah. was like Logan Paul in some kind of like sex act. So I'm just assuming it's getting head or he's giving head to another guy or whatever. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, absolute shit show, terrible. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, well, we'll see in the uh, the near future if it does go over to the UFC side. Um, yeah, I don't know how that would be really either because, fair enough, Logan's got his training on the WWE side, but, uh, well, he was he was wrestling... Yeah, he was a state, state champion, wasn't it? Yeah, so he's got some wrestling, so. and obviously with the WWE, the wrestling side helps. Yeah, so 
actual wrestling. Um, it's just all, I suppose it's just all the leg kicks and like yeah, uh, and more the I think, pause. Yeah, I think maybe as fight inside, you might be able to do him in the UFC ring, well in the octagon. But if it comes to grappling, that's where I'd struggle because yeah, if he gets him in an arm bar or something. Yeah, it's that ground and pound and all that stuff, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. He's going to be able to learn that in time. But again, it's not like it's something that's going to happen uh, in eight yeah, to 12 weeks. Six months this this eight, is going to yeah. take fucking, yeah, it'll probably be like next summer or something yeah. by the time that actually comes around. Um, I know Dylan's been like, calling out Dana White, saying, you know, just get me back. I want fucking, I want to fight in a couple of weeks and whatever. Calling out fucking this man and that man and that. So, whether he actually fucking gets any ring time himself in the UFC, we'll see about that. But, I don't know. I, I, I don't think he's got much of a pull. No, no, no. Fucking... Especially after that display. No, yeah. Because no, no um, even Conor McGregor come out and fucking defended him as well. It's like, how can you fucking think that was a good fucking fight? Mm. You know, at least when McGregor did it against Mayweather, you know, he fucking, he come out swinging and that, didn't yeah. he? You know, he, he gave him. Yeah, he put in the work and fucking he he attempted to back up all the fucking mates he did before the fight. Yeah, as well. Oh mate, and he did with some before the before fight. They did, did like yeah. that four stage, like that four it was like four locations and yeah, or something yeah. like that. And fucking each one was fucking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> that was fucking really oh, good. Uh, we need to see him fucking fight again soon, man. He's Apparently he's gone in the UFC again, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, there's uh, he's been doing links about now. all sorts of yeah. fucking fights, but yeah, nothing's been confirmed yet, as far as I know, anyway. Um, but yeah, you, I mean, if it weren't for McGregor, uh, I'd never watched any UFC beforehand, anyway. You know, I've seen, um, you know, on YouTube and whatever, UFC mm. and MMA fights, but I'd never actually sat there and watched like, a pay per view or a fucking whole or, or a night of it. Um, yeah, he, he fucking he just upped the levels of the fucking the UFC scene, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a few, there's a few others in there that I do fucking like the look of. You know, um, Sean O'Malley or Maley, uh, he's fucking, he's another little character, another little fucking Paddy, um, and then Paddy Pimlet as well, uh, little Scouser, fucking, he's a good character. Uh, Molly May on the female as well, fucking, yeah. You know, there's there's a good couple of fucking fighters out there, and again, I don't watch much to say. Yeah, you don't you watch know. every card. Yeah. Well, barely watch any fucking. Well, it's a time difference, doesn't oh. happen, is it really? Because it gets shown like four o'clock in the morning here, yeah, and then yeah. you you know you have to pay. I know for our American listeners, this will sound cheap, but I'm sure it's like 20, 20 quid. If you know Americans, it ends up being I think it's like a hundred dollars or hundred fifty dollars for the pay per view. Oh there. yeah, because I saw it with um, Tyson Fury and uh, like Ngalo or something, and he's he fucking he's faulty. Mm. Um, that's gonna be like fucking fifty pounds for us as a pay per view. Oh, is it? Yeah, and I'll tell you that, I ain't paying that. Nah. Fucking, yeah. Thank God for fucking fire sticks, eh? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the verdict of the fucking Logan and Dylan. You know, Terrible. Just a big letdown. Just underwhelming, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know, he, he fucking, yeah, he's just, he's just needed fucking Dylan to stop being a little bitch, basically. Right. Um. And so, yeah, the one that everyone fucking was all waiting for, really. KSI and Tommy Fury. I wish we waited a bit longer, mate, because it was fucking shit as well. Honestly, to cap that off the end, as your main event, after that, just after the, the condition of your current main event, absolutely terrible. I mean, you say what you think about the fight, Jay, and I'll come in with my, um, my little bit about it, because... I, I was really disappointed in the whole thing. I thought Tommy won. I, I, I don't know why KSI was jumping, doing jumps from the actual star jumps, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, the fighting technique was... Was ridiculously wrong. Yeah. Also, no, go on, Jay. You, can, you say your bit, because there's... Uh, yeah, you say your bit. Well, firstly for me, considering Tommy sees himself as a Manchester United fan, to come out with Oasis playing, who are fucking famously Man City fans, 
I thought that was a fucking joke. He's just playing off to the crowd, though, is it? That's what I thought, obviously, because he's, he's Manchester. Yeah. So he's but... just hitting both. He's in the Man U fans, he's in the Man City fans. That's that's how I was. Yeah. I get but... it, though. I get it. Yeah. He fucking. Just commit. It was just stupid. Um, it's like a half an hour scarf. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, though. Fuck you, though. Yeah. So again, for the American fans, um, we know you're out there. We appreciate you. Uh, Half and half scarf. You, when you go to a football game and that, it's one half of the scarf is the home team, and the other half is the away team. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. It's yeah, gonna, it's just should because just it shouldn't be made. It's just, it's just yeah, especially when it's a, a ding dong derby. Like, a ding dong derby. You, you <laughs> hate the opposition team. Yeah. So you're not gonna have that crest on your fucking chest, yeah. are you? Sure. So yeah, um, for the fucking the whole of the fight, like. The way that Tommy just heaped himself up again, and you know, said he, you know, he's gonna fucking destroy him, Di Casa, and fucking whatever. The display that he gave himself was just fucking disgraceful. To happily, proudly call himself a professional boxer, he needs to just give that a fucking arrest day. Get back to fucking Love Island and whatever, and stick to that because he shouldn't be going back into the fucking boxing ring. Now. With KSI, yeah, the fucking the star jumps, the fucking erraticness of his fighting style, that's gonna upset a lot of people trying to fucking just physically box. But a, a proper boxer would have been able to deal with it. Yeah, mm. out of the fucking cuddling. And like, like what I said with the King Kenny one, make your space, start throwing a jab. He didn't do none of the basics. The thing that I don't get about this and the commentary and the whole the whole event was pro KSI. The commentary when when KSI won game, they got over him. They would they would say, you know what, Tommy's the pro boxer. It's on him. But what makes a pro boxer? Well, no, no, no. If you got a boxing license, and I've got a boxing license. We're both pro boxers. Yeah. If we've had the same amount of fights in the same five years. Do you get what I'm saying? And no one is a pro boxer all year round. They're only a pro boxer for the next five for training camp. Yeah. So when the, the commentary was like, ah, oh, KSI's got other stuff going on. I'm sorry, but Tommy Fury's got other stuff as well. I know he's probably not, not as busy as KSI, I'm not saying that. But everyone's got other stuff going on. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cool. And from... But, no, but wait. Yeah, yeah, carry on, carry this, on. And there was like, so the essence... No, it's not. He's selling himself just as much as he's selling himself. Like, like I said to you on the text, you could be doing a job. I'm just doing it more. It doesn't make you better than someone. So, mm. as you know, if you're on the tools and someone's been on the tools of early years, I don't know, let's say 10 years longer than you, mm. that doesn't mean that their job's value is going to be 10 years worth more than you would give them or their job be better than your job. Yeah, it's it's what you put in is what you get out. And obviously, they both didn't pull enough in for that fight. I really, I think they both were the. I I mean, for me, a little, I think Castle is a little bit deluded. Uh, no, in terms of he thinks he would, and I think Source and Fury is just a bullshit. He knows just paycheck for paycheck, five million for this. I think he'd go. Yeah, yeah he's bank on it. Definitely. Because he he won, and never fight. At least he's gonna get five million. Or or. or I think he'll fight Logan Paul next for a couple of million. And then even if he loses, he's made 10 million or something from fighting these three people. 10 million, never has to fight again. Job done. Mm. I'll stick to my boohoo, man. But the thing that really bothers me the most about Kaisan is before the fight, and he does one of his speeches, he goes off and he's real. He thinks everything he says is profound. Like he thinks there's a. It's smaller than it's coming across, but it just comes across as him just chatting absolute nonsense, legacy, knowledge. What the fuck? Man? And he's got the two of them telling him anymore. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. But honestly, I don't like Kaiso as a boxer. I don't understand his the character he makes him as a boxer because obviously when he's in that boxing mode, is is a different. You know, he sells a character as well. Yeah, um, I think that still stems back to the McGregor sort of things. Like yeah. the way that he but it, like, it, publicized with the, the, the fucking uh the press conferences and that. 
too many other people try and replicate that now. Yeah. But sorry, and then you had um, KSI's partner, uh, boxing sparring partner, Idris something. He, he was on Love Island as well, by the way. Uh, and on the third round, like in the corners, the, like the presenter, who do you think KSI's knock him out on the life next round? Did um, And yeah, then the two rounds later, like like come to me next round, I swear to God, he's going to knock him out. Like, it was just so pro fucking KSI. The whole, obviously, I know he's got. It's his thing as well. But fuck me, it was so embarrassing. Like, even from the commentary, from just from the presenters, how they were asked, the way they was asking questions to be pro KSI. It's just like, I get he's giving you a job. You want to suck him up? I get it. But fuck me, he was shit. He was shit. And he's been, it just proved to me that he and a boxer, he should stop. He's such a Thomas Fury because, you know, I'm because. His brother does well in it. You know, me and you can both play football, but we're not Ronaldo, what I'm trying to say, Jake. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, doesn't mean, only because you can do it, doesn't make you good at it. It make, shouldn't make you fucking think you're excelling at it when mm-hmm. you're not. For me, it was an actually atrocious boxing card, and I won't be watching it one of my life. I'll well, yeah, I'll text you after saying I ain't watching none of that again. Yeah, yeah, I won't be fucking paying 20 quid for it again. But the number's done so well. Well, that's it's like when obviously that's before you obviously with you know it's just like what the fuck I get why people would watch it but at the same time they can't be happy with the service they're getting no no but we'll we'll get onto that when we evaluate the misfits bit anyway then no but I have got the stats of the fight as well though oh. so obviously there was controversy over the scorecards from the referees anyway. Which changed to now it's a unanimous decision rather than a split decision now. Yeah, yeah, because the one didn't add them up yeah. so we put 56 instead of 57 at the bottom. But with that middle card as well, so the picture that I'm sure most of the people have seen, you can see that he's scribbled out and altered the fucking numbers and it took eight minutes from the end of the fight to uh, give them to whoever to give the results. It shouldn't take eight minutes, and it, they shouldn't be scribbled out numbers and trying to rewrite the numbers no. next to them. Or, and or, it didn't look right the way that they ducked it to one point as well. Uh, KSI was turning a lot, so that was bringing the fucking the illegal uh, hit to on the back of the head. So it's debatable on that. Yeah, Tommy should have fucking not done it, but KSI shouldn't be turning his head to get it. Um, but when it comes to the actual stats of it then, uh, so the first round, I'll just keep it as brief as possible really. Uh, percentages on the landed, KSI was 27%, Fury was 24 So that shows that the first round... Uh, would be going to KSI. So that was on, yeah, that was on the total punches thrown and landed. Uh, power punches, which, uh, again, it was 26 to 20 on, no, sorry, 42 to 20% on KSI's favour. So that would say that he won the first round. No, I'm going to go, no, because, look, I, I know, I'm going to get to it. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. get to it. Um, again, so the second round on the first lot, it's 29 to 19 percent uh, of total punches to KSI again, and on the power punches, it's 31 to 23 KSI's favor. So, going off of that, it would be round two to KSI again, and then round three, it gets closer, so 31 to 30 KSI's favor. And then on the power, 31, 30 again. Mm. So that one, I think that was when the point was deducted as well, though, round three. But that one you'd put more as a draw because it was pretty much even. Um, round four, uh, it was 22 to 18 on total uh, for Fury. And then 23 to 18 on the power punches for Fury again. So round four would be Fury. Then it swaps back around again. You've got 32 to 20, well, 27 uh, on total punches to KSI. 
and uh, 32 to 29 on the power punches again. So again, that would lean more to KSI. Uh, round six, it flips both ways. So 25 to 19 on the total punches landed, but the power punches, it was 29 to 27 on juries. Mm. So again, that could be seen as a tie round. But these punches, Joe, these were included when the hugging each other and they're both giving giving shots. Little shots of this. I remember one point, Kaiso was like doing that. Yeah. So it's like they're not they're nothing. And but, I think it, it comes down to the conviction of the punches as well. So yeah, yeah you can keep tapping because I think that's where some of the other fights got more points in their favour because yeah. of the hugging and fucking tapping each other. But you you know what it is, you can have seventy percent of the board and still lose a game. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? It, um, yeah. Yeah, it's Oh, for me, for me, Kaisoi had the same problem with Dylan Balansard where he challenged that much shit and then the fear of actually getting knocked out, he was stuck in those compromised position where not so much of him... I, I think it was both of them that had that yeah, problem he, because yeah, there was a good couple of punches from Kaisoi that did catch Tommy and you could see it rattled him a little bit. Mm, I don't know. Obviously not fucking enough to knock him down, and but can, there was that sort of like Oh shit! Yeah, he fell. He fell. Yeah, and so I, I feel that like they both did the same. That because they fucking they hyped themselves up too much, they didn't fucking have the conviction to end it. Then did they? No. And then how did you feel about him moaning about Ali after KSI? Well, yeah. So he's gonna look at the the stats like that and uh, feel that he's won. You know, and obviously he would have been fucking hearing bits. Um, like the scorecard fucking drama and whatever to make it think alright well yeah I should have won that then uh, I think he was still going to appeal from it because we've seen it before um, where scorecards say one thing and then yeah. other referees will rewatch the fights and then it'll get completely turned over I think I know the day after it was the scorecard yeah. was changed the unanimous decision so I, I, I think it's been a whole week well Almost yeah. a whole week now, so I don't think we'll get a turn on the uh, no, I, decision now. I don't think he'll get turned, especially because three cards judged it. He won a close court. He was he got turned from a split to unanimous. In unanimous decision. Yeah, and because it's not, it's not a box, it's not a world title fight. It's just a nothing. For, it's publicity. It's, it's still not official boxing, yeah. even though they've got all the fucking the. Uh, all the refs, you know, Michael Buffy. How fucking buff does he look these right. days, man? And he gets paid a million pound, I think, for a million dollars. He's missed and, once. Or, yeah. Or was but, he bored when he got one on half? Oh, I don't know. Or he might be for the night, maybe. But yeah. still, fucking, yeah, he just, he looks like he's fucking... He's getting on a bit, though, isn't he? Uh, I don't know his age, it's but... Good, I, I, I would say he's at least about 70-something now. Do I remember in the 90s him doing it? Oh yeah, yeah, the whole time he was kids, fucking yeah. yeah. Um, you know, mate, I just, I just really didn't like the whole, the whole thing as as a as a whole, and I, I really dislike KSI as a boxer. I, as I said, from his stuff that he says, that's really that he thinks is so profound to him, his actual boxing style, to his soreness after he lost it. Because I know why he was so good. He wanted to say he's fighting Jack Paul next, but he can't because he lost. He can't go. Well, by the way. I lost. I'm fine in Jake Paul. That's why I, yeah, I well, think that, Jake that's why lost Jake, as well, though, didn't yeah. he? So, yeah. Well, I think he wanted to, on his card to say, I'm fine in Jake Paul. They have to space up and build it up from there. But you can't build up after you've just been told you've lost. Well, yeah, but I think I think that fight can still happen because yeah, essentially, if, if they just if they just stick in their own fucking realm now of keep it as the YouTubers and influencers and that as their fights between each other. Yeah. You know, the, there's been enough improvements on a lot of them. Look, as I said, we fucking, uh, Dean the Great, he's technically good enough to potentially get uh, fights against proper fucking boxers. Um, you know, the, the we said about the more mate Nate and Nunez one, that looked... You know, there was there was skill there. Yeah, once this, they'd, they'd this, be able to take yeah, that step. And I don't even think I don't think none of them would. I think I mean, you look at Tommy Fury and we're calling him a pro boxer, which I always have. A, whatever, 
but he's like lower tier of pro boxer, obviously, as you know. Yeah, yeah. Do you think so, you put them along anyone half decent? They're just going to get knocked the fuck out, mate. Well, yeah, not half decent. They'd be able to fight at that lower level with some of them. Not not all of them, as they like. Yeah, but they'd know. be journeymen, so you wouldn't sell. Yeah, and they wouldn't make as much money yeah. by doing that. But, they're yeah. making fucking... Yeah, they're making, yeah. You know, More think, money for taking these easy fights than they would, like, trying to sell a fight with uh, someone half decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think even Swarm got, like, fucking 50 bags. <laughs> and he, he wasn't even on the fucking pay-per-view thing, you know, so, yeah. Quick, can we just talk about... We just think about it. I know we just talk about it. So if Tommy Fury made 5 million for fighting Jake Paul, I think he made a bit more. Mm-hmm. Made 5 million for fighting KSI. And he would say he probably made, I don't know, maybe a million pounds from boxing plus a couple of million from his, his boohoo and all his other stuff. Yeah, I think before uh, fighting Jake, he wouldn't have made a million, I don't think. N- no, no. Not, I, not from boxing. Okay, yeah, but yeah, maybe as a whole with all his other stuff, because he has that boohoo, the My Protein, and I'm sure he's got another Hugo Boss Diva, sorry, thing. He does the after show for him. So, I don't know. All, all that combined, you you know, you would thought. He's got a good enough bank. Yeah. yeah. But now, just, just thinking, just taking these fights and, right, 10 million. I, I think what's going to happen. Castle's gonna fight Jake Paul on the same night. Fury's gonna fight Logan Paul. It just it, makes sense. Yeah, it probably will lead to that. So Fury would have the trilogy. But can, so if he makes another five million quid and he's made fifteen million, a free fucking fight. It doesn't matter if he gets knocked the fuck out in the last one. Mm-hmm. He's made all this money yeah. from fuck all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, he's. It's it's pretty safe to say he's never gonna be a fucking world champion. He's waiting. Oh no no no. He, he's. Yeah, he's a shambles of a boxer. He shouldn't be doing it. Um, but fair play to him. Yeah. You know, like you can't knock it. Obviously, yeah, the the quality of the main events, it was fucking such a shame because of how much they were built up. But the whole card, mate, the whole thing yeah. was, was an absolute shambles. But the entertainment value of it leading up, if it wasn't for how entertaining those bits were yeah. leading up to it, then... I really would be completely done with all of it. Yeah. Um, for South, uh, it's going to take something special to make me want to pay for the pay per view yeah. on any of these other ones in, in the future. I can't yeah. wait till we get a bit more famous and have to do YouTube. Yeah, it'll be a whole thing. And you'll be on those fucking prelims, like second part in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not even on the fucking pay per view. Like ten people there. Ooh, good yeah, yeah. Well, I'll fucking do it, man. I'll smash them all up. Fuck them, dickheads. Um, but yeah. So Misfits itself, as the the concept, it's it's there. It's got it's got the right it's heart. It's there. got the, it's got the right audience. Yeah, the audience yeah. definitely. You know, it, I mean to sell out and do those numbers. The audience is there for the right people with the right fights to make. Yeah, I just feel that that's definitely key. They need to make the right fights. They need to get the right matchup and. Not necessarily sell because the numbers are going to sell, but you just need to get the right the right fights going. The tag team, if they want to do something different, chin off the tag team, get in, but have a fucking MMA fight in it. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, switch it up that way because it doesn't have to be just a boxing event. Having it as a tag team fucking fight, it's already making it non boxing. So just throw a couple of different styles like that. You know, it doesn't have to be an octagon, so you can still use the same square ring. Just throw in something like, you know, a bit of Muay Thai or something. Fucking don't try and force this extra fucking shit because it's not going to work. Yeah. It really isn't going to work. Um, yeah, I can't see anything that they try and change rule wise for it to make it work. Mm. But the, the foundations are there. The, yeah, they've got the audience. There's, Obviously, an infinite number of fucking YouTubes that are going to uh, YouTubers and fucking TikTokers and whatever other fucking platforms there are for people to socially influence people. Mm. Um, so th- yeah, the numbers are always going to come through for that. It's going to be enough people to get into it and help build their fan bases. So yeah, the heart's there for it. It's gonna go in the right place. They just need to 
think we need to take a step back and just like what we were saying about the box and the, the boxes themselves, go back to a bit more basics. Yeah. I think that's what it is for. I think that's what it is, though. I think it's just uh, you're a YouTuber and it's something to just push up because publicity wise, you need more yeah, views. Yeah. And then well, that's what it started off as anyway. Yeah. It, it boosted all the numbers and well, views then, and everything for everyone. It's just, mate, it's, I'm really, really disappointed with everything from top to bottom the interviewers, the presenters, the boat. I mean, the build up was good. You know, but I mean, in terms of build up, like you know, like the press conference and the the weigh-ins beforehand. And say, if it case, wasn't, yeah, if it, it wasn't for the fucking the conf- the press conferences and the weigh-ins and that, um, the way that that, because that was the entertainment. Yeah, that was the most entertaining part. Yeah, of it, yeah. if it wasn't for them, I really would have been so pissed off. You spending twenty pounds to watch the pay per view. Um. So yeah, I think we just need to kind of just take a bit of a step back and just. Concentrate on getting the right people in, getting the. But again, are we, are we seeing it too harshly as we want to see proper boxing, no, as opposed to, not being for, entertained by these kids. No, for me, it's like I've wasted, I've wasted five six hours on Saturday mm. watching these fights where I'm thinking oh, I can do better. Yeah, and that's the problem when I think I can do better in a boxing ring, mate. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That should be your glass, Jim. Well, that's it. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I'm saying? When I when yeah. I start thinking I can take some days off, that's when you know it's getting pathetic. Yeah, um, but I I think it will get better. It's going to take a good couple of years before misfits can like claim to be the best out there, like they're already doing. Um, you know, I know the zone. Uh, they do have normal professional fights going on as well. Um, maybe that's something that they, they should look into. Have some of these YouTubers on as the the, the prelim fight, fights, yeah, the mm. undercards and that, and then have the main card as professional boxers. So then we wouldn't feel cheated out of it. The I end think that's what it is. Anyway, yeah. uh, but when it comes to the likes of your Logan Pauls, your KSIs. They're, they're the ones that are pulling in the numbers, they would end up being the main card. So keep them as individual fucking nights as well, you think, unfortunate pay per views. Do you think people like Logan Paul, not so much Logan Paul because he's got his WWE shit, do you think when people care, like care so you're on the decline, that's why they have to do the boxing? Well, he doesn't have to do the boxing though, does he? Because of how much no, money I mean, he's, he's got enough from money, but like, nice. obviously. He wanted to retire. He could obviously be one from the sideman, retired sideman. Wait, well, he's left the sideman, didn't he? Has he? I'm sure he left the sideman. I don't know. I've not seen anything oh, about mate, him for a little while, to be honest. Right. Ignore that just in case he hasn't, but I'm sure after the charity <laughs> game, I don't know if it's like a job for a video or something. I just see him. Seeing him. I, I don't follow him. I'm not, I don't follow any of them. So, yeah, just so if he hasn't, hasn't. If he has, just let us, someone please email him. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just something that. When I watch him box, I'm like, why is he boxing? I get it. he's trying to sell. I know what he's doing. He's trying to sell him to sell misfits because he sees things. So he's getting more money. I get it. Mm. I get that from a promotion point. He's promoting himself. Yeah. Like with the prime bottles. It's just, there's no promotion. It's just them two promoting him. Yeah, yeah. It's just and that's an awful shit drink. I'll tell you what. I feel rough for him actually <laughs> because by both of them because not only did they deliver shit drinks. I mean, it's, can you was it anything, anything? Can you remember anything? Overhyped like a pie and drink. No, I had a pie and he's drinking with that. Um, so yeah. I had the normal juice ones, disgusting. Oh, I tried the, the energy drink, worst. Not yeah, touching that, not I've touching not, not had one of the energy drinks. I've only tried, well, had the, the red and the green prawn drinks. Now, I'm not much of a fucking pop fan, I don't Mate, drink fucking the ice pop or anything. Like medicine. Yeah, I've, I've, I wouldn't have had that one anyway. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Look, it, they know their audience. That's it. You know, the, the, people by the looks of it, kids. Mate. That's what it is, mate. You know, fucking the kids are hyped for it. They love it, and you know, fair play to them. The fucking they're making the millions from it. Um, what do you do with a million, mate? Just well, no. What well, that's it. Be realistic. 
if I was like, which one of you is on a box and next card because you're chatting shit about it. And you got 50, I mean, if Swans can get 50, 50 grand, mate, I think you could get 50 grand. Yeah, yeah. You got, what would you, what would you do with 50 grand? Uh, well, I suppose just invest in this, really. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's the only, that's yeah. the only answer that invest Because in 50 is not enough to do much nah. with, really. No, nah, you could, then you just get hire someone to do more production thing. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that's, editor and everything. And yeah, with, with properly sourced out the studio. Um, which is going to happen at some points. Uh, but yeah, fifty grand. That's it. Just get invested into yeah. this. Um, if you won, you can go again. Obviously, and obviously, if you won, obviously, you can boost your boost your stuff. Well, just more. just getting like called out for it would fucking yeah. boost some fucking. Yeah, boost some scores. Yeah. Who the fuck is that guy? Um. Yeah, I'll fight anyone. Anyway. No, I don't give a shit. Fucking. Is there anyone you wouldn't want to fight? No. Sure. <laughs> no, no, I yeah, just yeah. I, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, yeah, I'm just like, I don't know who the next scares you, mate. No, because again, even if I was scared of any of them, I'm still gonna get paid just to walk in yeah. the ring, get it. So, so yeah, skip me. Ah, oh, you knocked me out. Fucking sound. I'm sure, fifty I'm richer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless I got fucking, like, hit wrong and I'm in a fucking coma. But you know, stuff like that. Bloody fucking insurance policies and that for yeah. that really. So, yeah, I wouldn't give a shit really. Um. So, yeah, we've gone on a lot longer than we expected, sir. Yeah, I mean, there was lots to go through, a lot of bullshit to weed out mm. or to pick up. Like, yeah, whatever. And there's, there's a lot that we haven't even fucking gone on to, really, no, either. But I think, yeah. I think leaving that where it should be left mm. and just not pick it up again, mate, because it was absolutely horrendous. No, but I'm sure if uh, the rematch does happen with KSI and Tommy, we'll probably touch on it again. Or if mm. Tommy and Logan go for it and uh, the KSI bull fight happens. Yeah, you might have to tell me about it, mate, because I, 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 even, even, I, 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 I'm not interested in any build up to these fights anymore because they just do not deliver. Yeah. It's well, like, no, no, sorry, Jack. <laughs> it's like Super Sunday, 4 pm, yeah, oh, under the lights. It's like, say, like it's a Manchester Chelsea. And it finishes now and now. Oh my god, do you remember them one back in like oh nine? Fucking boring game. Yeah. Like that's what I'm that's what that delivered. Four o'clock, Sunday, after your Sunday dinner, under the lights, dark, mm. cold, I'll get into this. Fuck all mate. Yeah, dead game. Dead it's fucking sick. fight night. Um but yeah, as and when the those fights do come across, I don't think we'd fucking spend an hour talking about two them. shows, mate. Two shows, yeah. Two shows. Um, but I don't want to finish on the boxing. Uh, oh. So no, we can't go to that level, mate. It's no, no. Um, we won't finish on the boxing. So, any questions, uh, any emails, and that you'd know where it is. Real talking podcast. Well, real talking pod at gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. YouTube is real talking podcast. Uh, X Twitter at Ash and JD. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll get on to different things on the next episode. Uh, the boxing, Misfits is behind us. And, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not going to leave it on the uh, boxing. But from one disappointment to another, mm. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is fucking about to buy 25% of Man United. So, yeah, it's not been a good fucking week sport-wise for me. I was going to say, are you sure I'm going to leave with the boxing, mate? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, no. Uh, come next week, we should know more about that. So I'll probably have a little bit of a rant next week on that. Have you heard about that uh, former Manu player saying that Mark Goldbridge is? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Paul Parker slagging off the one. Mark Goldbridge. Um, saying he's not even a Manu fan. He lives in Birmingham or Nottingham, wherever. He is. Well, yeah, uh, it's so he grew up in Nottingham when he was a kid, uh, and then it. Over the years, people have said you're a Forest fan and whatever. Um, but what dedication would you have for fucking like eight years or whatever it's been to Seven, fucking yeah. say that you're a fucking Man United fan? And to literally start off by just walking, looking at his phone and talking to fucking like 10 other people, even though it was a YouTube video, it was more like a Facebook live stream, to fucking having like... I don't know, one and a half million fucking subscribers, yeah. whatever it is he's got. What would you do with that? Not be a Man United fan. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fucking the, the evidence is there. The rants that he does, fucking Phil Jones, pink boots, fucking Ollie's at the wheel singing it and fucking this and that. You're not going to do that if you're not a fan. So with Paul Parker and all these other people that have come out giving fucking shit, it's just fucking ridiculous. I, 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 I feel sorry for Paul in a sense because he's gone for an interview to talk about Man United and then the, whoever the host is has just dropped it on. He's unscripted, fucking, he's caught off guard to talk about fucking Mark Goldbridge. Because I did see Mark's response to it. He has met him. They fucking had a fucking drink together. But after this? No, no, fucking a couple of years ago, they fucking got a meet and greet, fucking uh, had conversations, whatever. I don't know if they did a show together or something as well. But, yeah, so he knows him. And then to slag him off on the fucking radio, whatever the fuck it was, it wasn't a fucking reputable news station or whatever anyway. Um, It's it's laughable on their sense because I feel like it's a bit of jealousy because if it was fucking the other way around where Paul Parker's got fucking a million and a half subscribers giving his views on the Glazers and fucking, uh, you know, not happy about performances from players that no one would be slagging him off just because he used to play the game. Yeah. But whereas Mark hadn't, he fucking does gets a lot of stick. Does Mark have guests on his show? To be honest, he's doing. So in he, terms of like, does he? I know he has like, does he just do live reactions in terms of to like when the games and that's when he's live, or does he after the game does he have people like does he have like Gary Neville or someone? No. So his main thing is the watch along. So he'll give his commentary while the games yeah. on, which to be fair is better than most of the commentators because they will just chat shit. Um. He used to have Paul Ince on uh, weekly. Okay. Um, so they just give their fucking views Very about the game and whatever and what they're expecting of the next one and whatever. Uh, he does a weekly show, well, uh, one on his channel and one on Ben Foster's uh, channel. Oh, yeah, the Salt and Gold Team title. Yeah. yeah um, Foz, Foz-cast. Yeah, That's he's on the podcast. He's got his own podcast now as well, Marcus. Uh, but yeah, so he's with him every week. I think it's a Monday. Uh, he's got his team as well. Um, Beth, Baz, Adam and Kev and Ricky. They do um, lot other shows, uh, the fan forum, so after the game. I like interviewing the, like, the fans. They used to do fan reactions like, outside the ground. Um, like, like Gunners them. TV, remember like them ones? Because them ones go for Yeah, them. I think they might still do it. Uh, the odd fan reaction, um, but otherwise, Adam, he's outside the ground afterwards, and he gives his fucking quick synopsis, yeah, his quick breakdown of it, which is about like ten minutes or so. Um, but yeah, they'll uh, they'll just debrief mostly these days on a shit fucking performance all around. Um, during the transfer windows, Fritzio Romano, he has him on every oh, Monday right, as right. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. all the transfer news, so he gets. Uh, literally from the fucking horse's mouth for the, the latest info. Um, he's had a meet and greet, look at a night with uh, Ryan Giggs. He's got a night with Paul Skull coming up soon as well. Um, so he does try and do stuff like that. They, they did all the fucking the, uh, tour over in America and that with them where there was a couple of them going around to meet mm. the game. Um, so yeah, he, he's had uh, Ex players on there, mainly just United ones. Right, no, I just but thought, he doesn't have. Yeah. So it's similar to like your your breakdowns where you got Gary Neville and, and Jamie Carragher fucking there, uh, like fucking analysing the game, but it's not the same. He's done it before with the screens and he's moving the fucking checkers around and that lot, but it's not. He doesn't feel that people want to see that. Yeah. Because a lot of the time you don't need to because. You can do it with a lot of players. Like Scott McTominay the other week. You come on, you score two goals. You can loop that highlight fucking of him scoring two goals over and over and he'd look as good as Messi for fucking half an hour. But it's not the whole fucking game, is it? So he breaks down, he fucking he makes his notes and he fucking has a rant and all that. And in general, yeah, he's entertaining. Um, but yeah, to, so for these people to say he's not a United fan, just bullshit. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, I don't agree with everything he says, 
but you know you get to see he has a lot of uh, fucking news reporters and that on as well. Yeah. Uh, Mark Ogden and all that was on the other day. Um, so they've been giving their uh, what they're getting directly from fucking sources about like the sale and fucking whatever going on. Um, yeah, he's he's, he's got fair fucking way to him. You know, I know I've said it a few times to you already. He's done so well on something that was it wasn't a thing before. Fan yeah. channels and that weren't a thing. You know, obviously, yeah, there was MUTV, Chelsea TV, and whatever as actual TV channels. But YouTube, with how many different things you can do from it these days, uh, yeah, he's, he's done fucking really well. Um, yeah, fair play to him. He's even on talk sport on a Saturday or Sunday as well for like a, an hour show. Um, yeah, so he's done well. And for, you know, people can't discredit him as a voice and as a uh, you know, a fan, a person, just because he hasn't played the game professionally. But they're going to keep trying to. And a lot of it is jealousy. You know, Scabby of Bong Lahore's chatted shit about him a couple of times. And so, yeah, you're jealous because you ain't got fucking a couple hundred thousand listening to you every day. Yeah. You've just got a small selection of people that listen to you, tolerate listening to him on talk sport. So, yeah, I think a lot of it is jealousy. And again, it is fucking, you know, the, the producers in the air, like what we says, you know, fucking Gabby's being told what to say to get the fucking... Yeah, to get, it, to get the reaction, eh? To get people yeah. talking. Because otherwise, let's say, whoever it was that Paul Parker did the interview with, I don't know who the fuck it was. No, uh, no one that I'd be able to just tune into the station or fucking find the website or whatever. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, if only fucking... Well, you'll be getting a call up soon, and so there's no YouTube channel that way. I'd, I'd love to, to be fair, fucking, or on his podcast. Um, yeah, what's his guests on there? Fucking, I think that'd be a nice little fucking. If you want my views, I'm on you, mate. I'm on you, man. But on his podcast, he doesn't talk solely about United. It's about football. Football in general, because it's Goldbridge size football. Well, um, fair enough. So a lot of it's like, you'll. Talk about the shitty fucking VAR decisions of the weekend and whatever. Uh, you know, slagging off the referees. He has a little quiz on there and stuff as well. So, yeah, you'd be welcome. Well, we've plugged him enough now, haven't we? I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll have to fucking send him an email. Yeah, no, invoice him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just listen to the last 10 minutes, yeah, this mate. Is the last 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, saying that, he did actually do a watch along for the, uh, the fucking... The box is as a well, block yeah. here, that. Yeah. A watch along with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you had any people watching after. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't see the numbers of it, but I know he would have done good numbers. Um, yeah, more than true, Geordie, anyway. Uh, which is a shame. Big lad, but not big enough channel. Mm-hmm. Um, but if if he wants us on his podcast, I'll go on there. Definitely. I'll go on any other person's to be podcast. Fair, yeah, just, just to see how nice enough did I have. No, to be just fucking wing it completely. Well, yeah, because this this episode was pretty much our wing it. We knew we was going to chat about the Belgian, but yeah, we didn't yeah, know it was, was going to go on for fucking an hour and 15 minutes. But yeah, if you're still here, <laughs> we appreciate yeah, it's you. It's been a long one, hasn't it? Um, yeah, but uh, that's what it is. Just, you know, more real talk. That's it. Real life conversations in a real situation. Um, and so yeah, uh, just send us in your emails, questions, whatever. Uh, again, don't forget to download uh, on Spotify, Apple, fucking all Apple of them. Yeah. You, you just know more than what we do. We fucking, we're all men. We ain't got a fucking clue. You just well, to well you, only, you only have one. If you've got Spotify, you don't have Amazon Music, so you you have to cover everyone that you don't have. So it's like Apple. So yeah. yeah, anything Apple, Amazon, Spotify, anywhere you can anywhere, listen to your podcast, anywhere where you download and subscribe your music from, yeah, or podcasts, just like yeah, it. and uh, yeah, and obviously YouTube as well. Um, but I don't think there'll be any pictures that I need to put up because we haven't related to anything that way. And uh, I don't want to see nothing more about that boxing event, mate. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, shout out for Key Memento again as well. I'll put all those links in the description again. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, if you go over and buy anything, then just let them know where you come from. We'll say you might get a discount, you might not. Might get a thank you email in return or something, but yeah, we'll see. Um, 
So yeah, we'll see you next week. Take it easy.